Hey everybody, I'm back on the lathe bench and I thought it might be prudent to just test fit the, the lathe on the bench before I went too much further and lucky I did because this uh, H pattern drive assembly is a pretty big and I had to move the lathe forward about 30 mil or so from where my marks were just to give us a bit of clearance at the back of the motor mounting plate so lucky I checked so it's just have to move forward a little bit and I've got it all squared up and I've just used a paint pen like this to mark through the holes in the legs straight onto the steel bars and I'll go back and carefully scribe those out center punch them and I might just draw a pilot hole and the idea will be when I put the aluminium plate on I can use that pilot hole to drill back up through and I, that'll give me my pilot holes in my aluminium top tray so yeah glad I did that uh, if I had to drill the holes for the lathe bed in the location they were, it would not fit. Okay, so I've carefully gone back and attempted to remark these holes where they're supposed to be now based on the test fitting of the lathe. So you can see the scribe lines just in front. That's where the original marks were. So they've moved about I don't know, inch and a quarter, 30 mil. And I've just circled them so I don't drill the wrong holes. So I'm just going to carefully attempt to drill a straight hole, very small, just a pilot hole. And I think this is three thirty seconds. Just attempt to drill as straight as I can. And I'm not gonna lose too much sleep over it, but try and get it as straight as we possibly can. And then they'll be my pilot holes. So I can drill those out and tap them for the lathe mounting uh, studs. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've got a sheet of 2mm aluminium. I've got 2mm around 1.6, but I'm using 1.6 for fenders and tanks and things. And 2 is probably better for a tray. I don't know, it's what I've got lying around. The stuff's not that cheap, but it seems to be the best thing I can use for the job. It uh, won't corrode like steel, so I won't have to paint it. And the uh, coolant uh, mix that I use is water-based, so I think aluminium is probably a good choice. So that's what we're going to use. So I've just measured up from the edge of the backboard here to the front of the table, 587 millimeters, just marked down. Uh, use a Sharpie to color in a small section and then use a scribe to mark exactly on the mark. And then we'll take this over to the magna bend and fold it to 90 degrees. I was gonna do something fancy in the corner here and put a 45 degree angle so that any coolant would run back, but that'll take up space. So I'll have some wasted space here. And if I don't get the bends right, it won't fit properly. So I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'll just put a 90 degree bend. So I've got an aluminium back and a tray in aluminium as well. So let's head over to the magnet bend and fold it up. Okay, so I've just drilled the two pilot holes for, to go through the uh, base of the sheet here from the holes that I've drilled in those cross braces. I've got to pull the cabinet out. I've just set it in there. It's all empty, so I've got to drag it back out again. But if I'm going to line these holes up, I really need to mark the fixing points. So I'm just planning to use aluminium pop rivets, or blind rivets, and just put a few, not many, just to hold it in place because you know the base is going to be sitting on here, so it's not going to move. So really, I probably don't even need them, but I'll just put a couple uh, in the backboard here to hold it against the uh, plywood. And yeah, I might even just dispense with them around here. Uh, 
Nah, I'll put a couple, two or three on the side, a couple across the front and a couple on the other side. So I'm gonna mark those and pre-drill them all so all the holes line up. I'll do that now. And then once I put it back on, it should everything should line up and I can put the screws and the pop rivets in and these holes will still line up with those that are in the cross braces. So let's get into it.